What's good y'all, so I'm about to break down a new sample, so yeah, you already know, let's get straight to it. So this sample is pretty complex, but I'm gonna play it first and then we can walk through it. So that, that's the whole loop. It's pretty long. It's like 136, 1 minute and 36 seconds. I'm gonna start off right here, like I always do, explain this one and you know, just show you how I built off this whole loop starting off right here. So this is the first sound I used. It's a Celesta. I'm gonna show you the preset in a second. But it sounds like this. Uh, so it's from Keyscape. It's a Celeste Simple. I think I used it in a previous video. I've been using it a lot one of the best bell tones uh, or bells out there so here's the original midi without any effects on it what i did differently from this loop than what i usually do i messed around with the velocities a lot and paid a lot of attention to the velocities so here's what it sounds like the midi is Pretty simple, I'm gonna delete this. Uh, here we got the first chord. I start off with these three notes right here. So it's a C minor chord. So after I had this C minor chord, this note right here is the seventh, and this note right here is the ninth. I just deleted the seventh and I and I start off with this chord right here. After that, I took the root note and the fifth, duplicated them down one octave. Now we got a pretty full chord that sounds like he's filling up the frequencies. After I had this, I just duplicated it. Pitch it down five semitones. Now this note right here is out of key, so I just pitch it down, went to the third, like this note right here, and pitch it up right here. So now we get these two chords. After that, all I did was I, m I moved some notes to the side, creating a little bit of a rhythm, these right here, and chopped up some notes right here. So now it sounds like this. After that, I started adding some effects to it. So the first thing I added, chorus Juno, deep chorus preset, 38% uh, mix. After that, I just experimented. I didn't want to add the portal, so I went to effects fragments. This changed the whole direction of the sample because uh, I went to this machine gunner preset and the mix down to 50%. Now it sounds like this. After that, I wanted to make it more ambient, so I added a Valhalla, make it adding some reverb, a sound shifter, pitching it up for semitones, and an EQ taking out the lows and the highs. But now, after all the effects, I was like this. After that, we got this raw Celeste right here, and it's the exact same melody without the effects, and I also pitched it up one octave in the piano roll, so we also we pitch it up right here with the sound shifter and then one octave up. Now it's in E minor and it sounds like this. After that, I added this little lead right here. Sounds like this. 
preset is from tapes number one or 01 and the preset is hot 02 in the lead section and here's the pattern uh, i'll start off with this one right here duplicated it four times and then try to make some variations of it the effects i just copy pasted a bunch of effects from the original one so i just took some of these click this save and drag them onto the lead uh, but I, I got the eq the same chorus juno deep deep chorus preset uh shaper box making the lead pan a little bit from left to right and also a vintage verb uh, just messing around with the mix from the previous presets and now together with the other melodies it sounds like this After the lead, I added a pad. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. So as you can hear, it's the same chords. I just copy pasted the notes and dragged everything to the side. And I might have added some duplicates of it, but it's pretty much the same chords. Preset is filter light in the cradle of the Prince VST. After that, I added this little descending melody and it sounds like this right here. And it's also from Cradle of the Prince. It's the same preset, just in a higher octave. And this is the pattern right here. So, okay, so after I had this right here, these sounds. I wanted to add some another pad, but, but I didn't want to do it myself, so I went to Splice and I came across this pad right here. And as you can hear, it's just one chord, it never changes the chord progression. As you can see, I pitched it up two semitones, which is from. E minor to E minor and I time stretched it and I turned down the volume and I also wrapped it to mixer channel one. I added some of these effects but I removed some of them like the sound shifter of course and also as you could hear it was only one chord and we're working in a this chord progression right here E B minor which is five semitones down so I just chopped up the pad right here and duplicated it made this unique then I pitched it down five semitones from the other one now we got the same chord progression right here together with the effects from mixer channel one it sounds like this. But this pad sound directed me into a whole different uh, way of making the sample. So I had this. This one right here is the same pad right here, but pushed up one octave. After that, I added a bass. The bass is from Atmosphere. It's a deep double chin Moog bass inside of the Moog Tribute Library. And it's just following the root notes right here. That was like a little bridge part, I guess, for the sample. After that, I got rid of the high-pitched uh, pad and brought back the low-pitched pad right here. I got rid of this one and I duplicated it without the effects. So it's the same pad without the effects fragments. Also duplicated the bass. So now we got this. And I also added a little lead right here that I chopped up to get more rhythm. Uh, this is the preset Exit Super Saw. And here's the pattern. And I just exported it and chopped it up right before the next note hits to give the sample more bounce. And now it sounds like this. For the next part, I kept the same pad. I kept these ones right here. I just duplicate them over, but I chopped them up and rearranged them a little bit. I got rid of the pad totally right here, kept the bass and just the lead. And then for the final part of the sample, I kept the pad right here with the bass. And I came across this other preset right here in Xenology, which is called Xmod Colin. And it sounds like this. But I also added a shaper box to it in the mixer. So I added a pan, or like added this preset right here, eight pan R, and together with the lead, it sounds like this right here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the breakdown. If you enjoyed it, give a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.